The story starts off in Mansion. You are invited to a dinner hosted by Jack Logan. You'll also see in the news that Emma Logan was hit by a car and killed. Emma Logan being the daughter of Jack Logan. Everyone in the neighborhood ends up going to the mansion except for the family of five. The father being the one who hit Emma. Alright, the family of five will become more important later on in the story, but not right now. Anyways, everyone in the neighborhood ends up going except for the family of five. Once everyone gets there, Jack reveals the reason for the hosting event was for the family to come. But they didn't end up coming, so what does Jack do? He ends up trying to kill us all. While we escape through the mansion, we see this sort of animatronic being built and the coffin of Emma and the spear being inside the coffin. But yeah, that, that'll be more important later on in the story. That is pretty much it, what happens. At the end, even after we escape the mansion, he catches up to us in our house and ends up killing us. The story continues on Hotel, with you starting at the lobby on the first night you guys get attacked by someone who is wearing the same suit as the one from the mansion that's someone being emma possessing that suit not only is emma there but also working with her father which you can find him in a secret ending anyways you later find out that the family of five is also staying at this hotel and might be the reason why emma and jack logan are at the hotel towards the end of the story you guys call the cop and later find them at the lobby where the family of five is also staying at and also find out that they are going on a camping trip at specky woods after the events of hotel the story continues on camping where you find out that the family of five is now dead killed by jack logan now going by as zach nolan which he is now imprisoned the boy of the family of five is still missing so they haven't found him dead anyways on the first night you guys get chased by a shadowy creature that creature later gets his leg cut off by a bear trap that was put down by some park rangers but left out a message saying i'm still alive kind of implying that the missing boy and the shadowy creature are the same person later at the end of the story we find out that the shadowy creature was trying to help us because the real villain of the story was one of us being the traitor and trying to kill us all. The story continues off at Camping 2 where once again we are camping with our guide being Daniel, the same Daniel from the first camping game that put down the bear traps. Anyways, on the first night we get attacked by none other than Zach Nolan. If you look closely, you can see that he's wearing a prison outfit from after being in prison he somehow had escaped and now is attacking us the only explanation i can come up with of why he's attacking us right here at terrier park is because he wants daniel dead for some reason but that's the only explanation i could come up with of why zach nolan is attacking us but after trying to escape zach nolan we end up getting cornered and right before we get killed we are saved by nightmare the missing boy from the first camping game as you can see here he has a replacement leg that he lost back in the first game anyhow he kills zach nolan and setting himself free the story continues at camping three where we continue on camping this time at wicka peak we are greeted by daniel once again and steve who will be our camping guides today later that the night we hear steve crying and later killed by a mouse that shoots out lightning turns out that mouse is zach nolan who was brought back to life by his daughter emma after trying to escape from Zack Nolan, we both ended up confronting them both, Zack and Emma, and unfortunately we get caught. We get tied up and put in a minecart, being slowly pushed off to a cliff. But then comes the spirits of the family of five trying to save us. While everything is going down, Nightmare steps in and stops the conflict. This gives the father the time to apologize to Zack Nolan after the car accident, which Zack uh, accepts the apology. While everything is going down, the cart was still rolling down, so Zack comes in and stops it, but falls off the cliff. 